Hi. Today we're going to talk to our real estate broker friends, and I mean specifically the actual brokers. Uh, we work with real estate agents, we work with real estate brokers hand in hand, day after day, um, and occasionally we represent real estate brokers. And we're speaking to real estate brokers today specifically who also serve as escrow agents on real estate contracts. Um, as most, as we've talked about several times, escrow deposits are really the basis that allow buyers and sellers to move forward in transactions and act on good faith, knowing that there's good faith or escrow money there to back up performance. Now, it doesn't happen often, but it certainly happens where there's a dispute between the parties and there are competing claims for the return of escrow. Buyer will make demand on the escrow agent to give me my, my escrow deposit back, and a seller will say, not so fast. Now, when that happens, when there are competing claims over escrow, the escrow agent under the contract cannot play judge and jury, cannot just give that money back to the party who's making demand when the other party is saying no, no. So an escrow agent, can only do three things with the money. They can apply it towards closing once the transaction closes. They can disperse it according to written signed instructions by both parties. Or the third thing, they can send it to the court and ask the court to determine entitlement. And that's what we're going to talk about today. If you are a real estate broker who is holding escrow on a deal that's gone south, and there's competing claims from buyer and seller demanding the escrow, then that real estate broker escrow agent can go into court and can file what's called an interpleader action. An interpleader action is an action where the escrow holder, or what we call stakeholder, more legalese, is unsure as to their rights and obligations as to the escrow funds, they join both buyer and seller in the action, and they tell the court, judge, please direct us as to who gets the money. And oh, by the way, the escrow agent and their attorney's fees are paid off the top because it's important and imperative that we go to court to resolve this. The escrow agent shouldn't be the one to bear the attorney's fees. So the attorney's fees on an interpleader action that an escrow agent is obligated to pay comes off the top. Then both parties can either settle or it can get adjudicated by the court and the escrow agent has cover of law as to who to disperse funds for. So that's an interpleader action. That's for our real estate broker escrow agent friends. And I think that gives you a little bit of a heads up on what to do if you're ever in that situation. We thank you as always. We appreciate you and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.